Hello everybody, and today I would like to discuss the portrait of baker Terentius Neo and his wife. It is one of the preserved portraits from Pompeii, and it was probably made from 55 to 79 CE. It is fresco, which is paint on wet plaster, and this allows for pigments to bind to the wall surface. It was common in ancient Rome, the frescoes, and there are also mosaics on the floor. It would be located in the atrium of a house in Pompeii, and the atrium is just a formal entrance hall where guests were received, and this is what one would look like. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 CE, Pompeii and Herculaneum were buried, which allows modern archaeologists to catch a glimpse of Roman life, and here's just a picture of Mount Vesuvius. In the double portrait, the man, Trentius Neo, is believed to own a bakery, and he is wealthy, I mean, he can afford this portrait, he wears a traditional Roman toga, which was a symbol of Roman politics, and he holds a scroll, making him look important and educated because he could read. His skin looks olive, he has dark features, a wispy beard and mustache, and his wife also looks inquisitive and she's contemplating something. She has broad eyebrows, a paler complexion, and she wears a red garment, and she has curly hair that's parted in the middle, which was very popular for educated, wealthy Roman women to have, and she also wears pearl earrings. Now, this hairdo is present in the bust of young Flavian woman, which you can see here is a very elaborate pilot of curls, and the woman and the man both have almond-shaped slash exaggerated eyes, they are very expressive, and there's modeling on their faces as well, which means using light and dark to bring out certain features. Like their hollows of the cheeks are slightly darker, while the apples of the cheeks and right below their eyes is lighter to bring that part out. The woman holds a stylus to her lips, meaning she is also educated, and she holds an open di diptych, which is a two-paneled object. Both the man and the woman are presented equally and frontally. And Roman women had more power in their society, especially the upper class women who could influence their husbands. For example, Livia influenced Augustus and Julia Domna influenced Septimius Severus. Women could go to the baths by themselves, walk by themselves, and were very important in religious rites as well. For example, the Vestal Virgins, and this is a fresco from the Villa of the Mysteries in Pompeii, which was also preserved and it shows women participating in some Dionysian cults that historians aren't quite sure what it means, but and here's just a video of a poster from the British Museum, which is having an exhibition on particular works from Pompeii and Herculaneum. So I just thought this was really neat, and it was from that time period. So thank you for watching, and have a great day.